Hello, and thank you for watching another one of the Napa County Library's Best of 2013 book series. And today I'm going to speak briefly to you about John Shelby Spong's The Fourth Gospel, Tales of a Jewish Mystic. Um, I just read this book in the last week. Um, I don't know how it had fallen through the cracks for me, but um, it was a wonderful read and very enlightening. Uh, John Shelby Spong was an Episcopal bishop in Newark for about 20 years. He's written over two, two dozen books, and he also writes a weekly column. Uh, and he views the biblical texts as parables, not to be taken literally, and especially the case in this book, the fourth Gospel of John. And he views them in a historical fashion, similarly to Kieran Armstrong or Reza Aslan, whom you may have heard of because he was a big piece of the news this year. This year. And if you like that concept, this is another one to read. Um, he allows you to understand the text, too, if you don't have a lot of um, background in theology. So you don't have to come with a lot of knowledge to really appreciate what it is that he's trying to do. And he takes you into that historical realm, he details it for you, he examines the things that make the work important and tie it into other parts of the Bible and also, again, the history and the culture from whence it was written. Um, one little brief example is the character that comes in and is mentioned by name, Judas Iscariot. And it's, it's sort of that's a that's a major figure in the in the book, and um, one of one of the pieces of it is that the last name is Cariot. People think may have come from the word Sicarius, meaning political assassin. So as you're reading this book, it's filled with things like this that really allow you to understand the work a whole lot better. So I highly recommend if you have any interest in um, theology or, or biblical text or um, meaning of those works to read the fourth gospel, Tales of a Jewish Mystic, by John Shelby Spong. Thank you very much.